G Show, Peter G Show, Divorce Dad, Single Dad, Divorce Dad, Single Dad, Peter G Show. Hey everybody, it's that time once again. I know you're at the edge of your seats. Yeah. I know uh, I was. I couldn't wait to get here today because I had something today, Pepsi. And thanks again, Pepsi. Pepsi's been helping me out tremendously. He's been jumping on planes and uh, coming around, and I appreciate that. I just want you to know that, uh, you know, thanks, man. Anytime, brother. No, I appreciate it. I really do. Anytime. Uh, just because in between guests and things like that, you know, he comes out and visits. And again, you used to live here. Yep. Uh, I'm hoping maybe someday you'll, you know, uh, have another chateau. <laughs> <laughs> like the one you had. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, yeah, like the one you had. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, that way you'll have a chalet to, you know, chill on, maybe over overlooking the cliffs of Malibu this time or something. That'd be nice. Yes. Anyway, today as, well, actually I've been thinking about this, and we touched back on this last year, but I just felt it was time for another public service announcement for your own good. PSA. Yes. Speaking of PSAs, have you been to the doctor lately? No. <laughs> Dr. Jellyfinger. Yes. Well, that's yes. another story for a different day. All right. Yeah. Okay. What well, have you? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, we talked about that too. Yes, we did. Yes. Painful. Oh. No oh, boy. Anyway, okay. Today I want to talk about, and we'll keep this short and sweet. Maybe. Yes. Dating. 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 You're going through stuff, but you, you know what? You deserve to have a life too. You got your kids. You know, and, and, you know, you're broke up and whatever your deal is. Or maybe you're long since broke up. Or, uh, again, Pepsi's, you know, you're a single man. Yes. And you're not married. No. You don't have any kids. Not that I know of. But you're going to help me with the dating thing anyway, okay? I'm going to try. You're just here to chime in. Absolutely. I appreciate that. Yes, sir. Uh, you being a man about town. Well, don't know about that, but anyway. Yeah, come on. Uh, when I think of Pepsi, I think of... Fabio. No. <laughs> no. Flabio. <laughs> yeah, more like that. <laughs> uh, gigolo. <laughs> Just the <a> gigolo. gigolo. <laughs> Everywhere I go. No. <laughs> anyway, you're the talk about Houston. Oh, I don't know oh, about that. Oh, yeah. I th you're on the billboards over there. On the most wanted list. Tastes maybe. just like butter in a spray. You can find me in the post office. Yeah, that's true, too. Lurking about. Uh, dating. Women, men, all of you guys and girls deserve to have a life, you know, but and I totally get it. You know, when you have kids, young or old, they consume a lot of your life. I mean, I stopped what I was doing and nothing's more important to me than, you know, my time with my daughter. And but these days now again, different levels. Everybody somebody has infants, somebody has grown kids, they're married, but you're still going through divorce and you know, they all they all know they're in on the whole deal. The story's the story. It is what it is. But you gotta you gotta fulfill your own needs too. I mean, we all have needs. We all want to be loved. Everybody wants to do something. Now, if you you know you're grabbing straws, jumping out of the frying pan into the fire, then you got issues, and you need to just slow it down. Again, you've heard our stories in the past. There were some stories that Jim told back in the day, you know, about his situation, and that's what I'm saying. There's all these different stories. All I'm here to tell you about today is. You need to, you know, it's nice to be dating. you got to make time for yourself. I mean, I remember there was another girl, too, one of my friends. She came on and talked, and she's good-looking, uh, Heather. She was on one of the shows, live shows. Where was I? Uh, <laughs> where were you? I don't good know. Good question. You were probably uh, sleeping. Yes. You nap a lot. <laughs> I do. I just want to call you Sir Naps a lot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, either way, no, you weren't in town at that time, and um, and she was talking because she's a pretty good looking girl amongst the many. Let me did I again? We've talked about this before. Thank you, all you guys and girls, but the, we got a lot of very, very, very attractive women that watch this show. They're all single mothers. Uh, they have kids, but. You know, and and uh, still looking mighty, mighty hot. And God bless you. Uh, just so you know, Pepsi's available. Yes, feel free to give them my phone number, Peter. Uh, well, they can write the show if you're interested in Pepsi. You know, Pepsi's a very worldly guy. Yes. You might see him speeding around Houston, Texas in his Carrera. Bah. 
<laughs> you know. You mean or Ferrara? Or, 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 or is it what is that? Uh, Carmen Ghia. Yeah, Larmen Ghia. Oh, f- <laughs> 1961. Horse and buggy. <laughs> well, it's a class. You are into the classics. <laughs> yeah. You know more about the 80s. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Try to get wah, you out wah, of the wah, 80s. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> anyway, you know. Again, we're both single, right? Absolutely. Well, I am. I mean, yeah, you are too. But uh, I, I try to date. I don't have a whole lot of time now, even with the show. But every, um, I guess I've gotten pickier. I like a lot of people, but you got to find that thing. You know, you have to go out and try, and I guess test the waters, or you're never going to get anywhere. But the one thing you want to don't want to do is, and this is really my biggest suggestion to you guys, don't be introducing. And this is more, of, and guys too. I mean, there's a lot of women guilty of this, but guys are stupid. Oh, yeah, we are. You know, yeah. They bring around women. This is my new, you know, dad's got a new, you know, bring. You don't introduce no. every single person you're dating to your kids. No. Don't do it because no. it get you You know it and I know it. A couple of flings here and there and then boom, you're done because it really wasn't what you thought it was going to be. You're guilty of it. Uh, Except absolutely. you don't have kids. Well, I'm guilty of it. Well, I know. You keep, but he calls me up. He's ah, oh, this is the one. <laughs> and I go, you said that about the last one. No, nah, man, but this is different this time. <laughs> this is different this time. If I had a nickel. You know, that's the whole thing. You know, the, the beginnings is like great. You know, But then you just start really figuring out. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. It's the, it's just like, it's the evolution of how you got to do it. And as you get older, you know, you start figuring out who's, who do you want to be with? Who do you want to grow old with or attempt to? You know, unless you just want to be free. But I got to tell you, there's there's pros and cons to being a bachelor or bachelorette. It's great while you're young, but go ahead and get older and start, you know, getting really older and things start slowing down and, and there's nobody around. It doesn't work that well. Yeah, it doesn't work that well. And again, with you know, I'm living proof of it because as you all guys, all you guys and girls know, I live with an elderly gentleman, Mr. Ralph, and he's getting way up there. And he was a bachelor and... He did all kinds of great stuff, never married, never had any kids. But uh, in the end of the day now, it's like I kind of look after him, and he's alone. He's got no family. He's got no kids. and I mean, it's okay, but it's not okay. It's it's a little sad. Well, he's lucky to have you, though. Yeah. And in fact, we're, i got to get Mr. Ralph on this show before because I'm telling you, uh, every day I wake up, and it, for him it's a blessing if he wakes up because he's not in good shape. So who's going to take care of us when we get old? Well, I don't know. Uh, That's a good question. That's why we're doing this show today. It's like, that is entirely up to you, my friend. (laughs) You know, at the rate you're going, uh, I I really can't answer that. (laughs) I'm I'm looking. I'm always looking. I think we all are. You know, but it's hard. I am. You know what? I've got more. uh, The few, the couple of girls that I'm that you know have come across my path that I've been interested in. I'm too busy, and they're pissed. Yeah, because I'm trying to do something. You know, it's nobody wants a broke ass man, or no. broke. I mean, because when you get to a certain age, it's like you hope that you're kind of established, and everybody's looking. It's like, well, what are you bringing to the table? Well, number one, I, I'm not going to tell you about what I used to be and keep on harping on that. It doesn't matter what I used to be. The ma- bottom line is what I am now. What I am now is a guy who's having to rebuild and start kind of over again. But I do have a lot of faith in that, too, because I've met a lot of people who have made more money in their older years than their younger years. And it just it happens. It happens but a lot. It, it does happen. But you got to get off the couch and do something. Well, that's my problem. I am so busy hustling trying to do something. I have to put my private life a little to the side because if I don't have – got to be happy with me. And I like like the show. I love the show. Uh, the show is fun. The show, I love show business. I got out of music and kind of went more into the entertainment side of television and video and all this now, but I like it. Yeah. And if you get good at it and you're doing okay at it, then I could bring somebody in to share the joy because then I have a little more control. But it's, I got to tell you, they don't say one in a million for nothing. There's a lot of work and a lot of time involved in this. Now, are you the woman for me that's going to sit and, and understand this? Or are you going to be the woman for me that says, you know what? If you don't have time, you're t- I know you're too busy with your show and, you know, it's all, then you're gone. Because you're obviously too worried about me, 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 me. And I'm not doing this for me, me, me. I'm doing this for us, us, us. Does that make any sense? Oh, yeah. 
Everybody wants to have somebody. And w- let me tell you something, ladies. I get way more attractive. For some reason, the richer I get, the more attractive I get. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, people start paying attention. Oh, yeah. You know, but that's a joke, but it's very true, and you know it. I mean, a little bit of money helps. Uh, it gets you better introductions. It gets you better places. Just things just start happening. You get to go to do better, bigger things. When I was doing music, we'd be all, you know, all over the place. And, and you're just out there in front of people. So it kind of makes sense. If you sit home all the time on the couch and you just go to work every day and you come back home and maybe by chance if you're on Match.com or something like that, even that takes a lot of effort. I tried that, by the way, a little bit. It's got its pros and cons, too. you got to keep putting yourself out there, and it's going to be a lot of hit and miss because you're experimenting. You're, you're just going, but at least the one thing I'll tell you about Hitting those dating. <laughs> Well, you with you, it's just miss and miss. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the story of my life. Yeah, exactly. you got to open both eyes. No. Is that but, it? But with the, with the dating services, the one good thing I could tell you about those, at least it's saying, hey, I'm out there and I'm looking. You're out there and you're looking. Let's try. Because I've sat at bars. You don't go out as much. And i, I got to tell you, I've met a lot of girls that I've known for years that, that like all of a sudden I see them, hadn't seen them in decades, and they said to me, you know, I always liked you, you know, I just never said anything. And I got to tell you, a few of them, I kicked myself in the ass because I was shy at times too and wouldn't say things and didn't know any better. I'm going, now you tell me, you know what I mean, 20 years later. Oh, but anyway, yeah, it's just the way it goes. It, it, there's all kinds of ways. But here's the thing, back to not only satisfying yourself, don't screw your kids' heads up by bringing – person after person while you're, you know, there's a lot of trial and error. Don't mess them up. At least go date somebody and give it four months. If you're seeing anybody that long besides four dates, you know, then at least wait before you start bringing them around. It's not fair to them, man, because then you're looking like an idiot. You're looking just like a, 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 a you know, hoozy or whatever you want to call it. And as a dad, you know, just dad's bringing all these girls and it just doesn't look right. And, and, and I'm just telling you, you can go do what you want. Have a little couth. Your kids, what they see is what they're going to learn and bring into their lives. And if, again, if you love your kids, you're going to try to be a little bit better. And I know I'm preaching to the choir to a lot of people, but there's a lot of friggin' idiots that just don't see it. They go, oh, it's okay. Not a big deal. It is a big deal. It's a big, big deal. Don't be an idiot. No, don't be an idiot. That's no. what Motel 6 is for. Well, that too. And, you know, and date your kids when your kids are with the mother, hopefully. And if you're a full-time parent and don't have somebody to take off the heat, well, then, yeah, you got to come up with alternative sources. Half the time, my biggest problem is, is, like, I just don't have the time and the the opportunity because my daughter's around, and I just won't do it, you know? I, I just won't. I'll wait until I have that opportunity if I have the opportunity. So that's that. And then there's Pepsi. Did I mention Pepsi oh. single? Oh, yeah, yes. So, write all correspondence to the Peter G. Show, uh, but uh, if you're inquiring about Pepsi... Uh, attention I'll, I'll, Pepsi. Yeah, attention Pepsi. We'll hook, I'll, I'll get the message over to him and hook him up. Yay! Pepsi, anything else on your mind? Uh, that's just about it. You know, okay. Just uh, don't, yeah, don't, don't bring them home. You know, you, you, you go to their house, go to Motel 6, or until you at least know that things are going to be halfway stable, right? I couldn't have said it better myself. Oh, wow. Yeah, very good. Another philosophical word by my friend Pepsi, oh. and, which was brought to you by, what are you drinking today? Pacifica. Some type of alcoholic <laughs> yes. beverage, I'm sure. Yes, it's what keeps him nice and smooth. <laughs> smooth. Smooth, refreshing. <laughs> anyway, that's it, you guys. Just a quick public service reminder on dating because I had it brought to my attention again and it bothered me a little bit. We, we, we just forget. If I don't keep re-bringing these things up, and plus there's new people popping in all the time, so you have to, you know, hip everybody up. True. Being single is great. Being with somebody is even greater, I believe. We're all looking for somebody. You have to put your hand out there and say, hey, and say something. You know, I do my share. I try. But, again, it doesn't matter how hard you try. It takes two. So be one of those two. If you got something on your mind, say it. Say it to this show. I want to hear from you guys big time. Write to me, Facebook, YouTube, iTunes, Twitter. What else the hell am I looking at? It's all there. Uh, Even LinkedIn. I'm getting a lot of people on LinkedIn, believe it or not. It's really weird. It's a whole different crowd. 
but they're paying attention. Mm. Yeah, love it. Love you guys. Cool. Just make sure you talk to me. Let's talk. Tell me what's on your mind. If you can't talk to me here, it's like you can't talk to anybody. I'll tell the stuff that people don't want to talk about that needs to be heard. So that's it for today. Thanking once again my friend Pepsi for popping in and out for me. He's gone uh, beyond in the Call of Duty. I truly appreciate it. Um, You know, I've seen him more this year than uh, over the past five years. Uh, True story. Yeah, true story. Uh, You know, and again. You could have, who can resist this piece of resistance? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a French model. Did yes. I, did, I know, did I mention that? He's quite debonair. Suave and deboner. Y- yes. <laughs> yes. Nice accent. Thank you, sir. My end. My end. All right. So we're going to call it a day. Just thought we needed to do our duty and just putting it out there, another reminder. So my name's Peter G. Thank you for my friend Pepsi sitting in with me today and just chiming in and agreeing and disagreeing on the issue of bringing people home and dating and trying to, you know, make yourself happy. Be careful. Think about what you do. You're watching and listening to The Peter G Show. I love you guys. Let me hear from you. Peace out. Peter G Show.